Dress Making Lesson 4 Drafting the Basic Sleeve Pattern by It's So Easy. Here are the tools and materials needed ruler, French curb, pencil, tape measure, and pattern paper. Bago tayo mag-draft ng sleeve pattern, sukatin muna natin ang armhole ng back and front bodice pattern. Now, let's see how to do it. Ito ang armhole ng back at ito naman ang armhole ng front bodice pattern. Ganito yung easy way ng pagsukat ng armhole. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And the measurement is 18.9. Sulat natin. And then, tuloy natin yung sukat sa front. Pwede mo sukatin ng bukod to and then i-add dun sa back. Or, tuloy natin yung sukat na 18.9 kanina. Then, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, until we reach the end. And the measurement is 41 centimeters. Ngayon, kailangan natin ang pattern paper na folded at isulat ang measurements needed. So, these are the measurements needed. The sleeve length, the arm hole, arm circumference, divide by 2. And yung arm hole, yun yung sinukat natin kanina sa back and front. So, let's draw a construction line using ruler. This serve as the horizontal line and this part is the vertical line. A is the starting point. A to B is leaf length. For my example, it is 23 centimeters. And mark point B. And for the sleep cap, I use 12.5 centimeters or equivalent to 5 inches. This point C. And then extend point C and B outward. Transfer the measurement. Then extend it out using ruler. A to D is one half of armhole. From point A, position the tape measure diagonally to line C. Measure the one half of armhole. And mark this point D. Next is the one half of arm circumference, and that is B to E. And connect D to E, and then A to D. And then divide A to D into 5. So 20.5 divided by 5 is 4.1 centimeter. So, 4.1. This is the advantage of using centimeter. Mas madaling mag-divide compared sa inch. Then, mark this point F, G, H, and I. And then, from F, slightly measure 1.5 centimeters. Then, mark this J. And then, from I, measure 0.5 and mark it K and then connect A, J, and H with French curve make sure you hit points A, J, and H and then turn the French curve and connect H, K, and D make sure you hit that points so this is now the front part of the sleeve and now we will make the back part by measuring 0.6 from J downward, 0.6 and then connect A in that point to that point. Use this French curve and then connect this part. Okay, that's it. The red one is for the back and the one that is black is for the front. 
Now let's have the allowance on this part 1.5 cm. So make it slowly and surely that you are having the allowance on the front part of this cup. Okay, 1.5 and a little extension on this part. Okay, and then measure 2.5 on this part and 4 cm on the bottom part. And then connect this one and this one. And now let us cut this part. And now fold this part one centimeter. Let us check and then fold the hemline of the sleeve like this way and then cut the allowance on this part okay and then on this part Be careful in using scissors. Trace the front cup of the sleeve using carbon paper or tracing paper and tracing wheel. Slowly on this part. And then use ruler on the straight lines. And now adjust the allowance on this part. This allowance is for the back part of the sleeve. Then remove this part. We have now the back part and the front part. Paano naman kung wala kang carbon paper sa bahay to trace this part? Well, watch this easy step. Fold the same line. And then, sa part na to, siguraduhin nyo na yung front part ang nafo-fold nyo. Uti-uti. Okay. And then, trace the folded part. Okay. 